G'day guys, Butcher Benny T uh, back here after, well, an extended break. So I apologise for that, had a bit going on. Um, as this isn't my full-time job, um, I sort of, I've, I've got to put all my, the main of my time into my full-time job. So anyway, back here, there'll be a fair few videos coming up. Um, now I'm back into it. Um, for this one, just going to take you through, um, I've got some lambs behind me here. That I'm going to slaughter. I've got 10 here. Uh, I'm just going to take you through what to look for uh, to ensure that the lamb is uh, fit for human consumption. So we'll have a look at them in the in the pen here in a minute. Um, I'll, I'll explain to you what I'm looking for as, as they are in the pen alive and then I'll go ahead and skin one and we'll have a look at the carcass. So I won't go through the skinning part, you've seen that. I'll go over the carcass We'll have a look and see if there's anything on that that gives us a sign that it might not be um, fit to eat. And then I'll gut it and we'll have a look inside. Um, the main organs we want to look at are the kidneys and the liver. We'll also look at the heart, but kidneys and liver are the main ones that we want to have a look at. So anyway, I'll swing this camera around. We'll have a look at this pen of lambs. Um, you can see what I'm working with and we'll go from there. Rightio, so here's the pen of lambs I'm going to be working with. Um, so first up, I pretty much looked at they're a good and nice and relaxed, um, not sort of panting, um, not stressed. So they all look pretty good. Make sure their backsides are clean, which isn't the be all and end all. If they've been on green pick, they will get dirty backsides, but this lot are nice and clean. Um, have a look at their noses. Make sure they're not all snotty and, and stuff running out of there. And lastly, I'll just have a look at their eyes. Um, make sure they're nice and clear in the eyes. These guys look pretty good to me, um, the whole lot of them. They're a pretty neat neat little lot of lambs. I'm tipping they'll dress out at 22s to 4s, um, most of them. So anyway, I'll get one out, I'll get him scun, and we'll have a look at the insides. Rightio, so I've just whipped this lamb out of his skin. Um, just having a look around him. Pretty much just looking for any cysts or ulcers or or um, deformed muscles, but we could say there's a there's something in the in the muscle. Um, as you look around around this lamb, it's a pretty healthy looking lamb so far. Um, but the next part's probably the most important. A lot of the time, if there is something wrong, it'll be in their liver, kidneys, even heart. But the liver and the kidneys are the main ones I look at. Um, so we'll go on and gut this, gut this lamb, have a bit of a look, um, make sure everything's all right on the inside, and then we'll know know that she is right to eat. So I'll just cut around its backside here. All right. Open it up. Always, always on the lookout for any signs of uh, problems that the lamb may have. So far looking good, nice white fat in there. Pull that out. For starters, I'll grab a kidney. So kidneys are up there on the loins. So we're looking for a nice pink sort of ready kidney. That looks pretty good to me. Um, so we'll sit him up there. We'll get both kidneys out. And then I can show you um, once I've finished gutting this lamb, what the offal should look like once it is taken out. So I'll just put a cut in here and get the rest of his insides out. Flick that out. There. Here's the liver. So we'll have a look at that. Which looks pretty good. That's the sort of colour you're looking for. That's a nice deep red colour. Uh, I like to see the gallbladder, which is that little piece there, fairly empty. Um, but sometimes if they're on feeders and that, they're a little bit different. So um, that liver looks good. So I'll sit him up there. Have a bit of a look around the, the whole um, inside cavity, which to me looks good. Flick him over. The heart's down the bottom here. We'll cut that heart out. Which 
that also looks really good. So I'll sit that there. And the rest of it, there's not much. It's just a stomach and that. So um, the lungs, yeah, sometimes you'll get things on the lungs, but really they look good as well. Um, all that looks good. So I'll chuck that away. Right now, so as a whole, this lamb looks pretty good. I'll just set these um, this offal out. I'll zoom the camera in on them and you can see exactly what they look at, like out of, out of the lamb. Righty oh, so here's the uh, organs as I've taken them out. Um, so the liver, nice deep, um, it's probably maroney, deep red colour. Um, with you're not, you don't want to see any whiteness in it, like white uh, spots or lesions or anything in it. So that looks good to me. We're pretty much looking for liver fluke. Um, that's the main one it does get in the lambs, which if they're vaccinated against it, you're pretty right. Um, there's the kidneys. So we're pretty much looking for pulpy kidney, which they just, they go all, uh, they, they inflame and get um, white pussy stuff in them. So those kidneys look really good. And then the heart, um, a lot of the time the heart's blood related. So uh, it just pumps the blood around. So it's not the main one. Um, as you can see, that heart looks very good. So in whole, um, this is a good, healthy lamb and it, and would be safe to eat. So, yeah. Rightio, so there we have it, guys. Um, that's what I look for um, when I'm slaughtering any beef or lamb or mutton or anything, really. Um, as I'm killing for farmers and hobby farmers and that, um, it's sort of, I feel it's my duty of care um, to ensure that the, the animals are fit for human consumption. And it is important that they are. Um, otherwise I'll be giving uh, doing a disservice if I'm if I'm telling people that they can just eat it so anyway um, sorry for the, the delay in between videos I am back now there will be more to come over the coming weeks and months um, thanks again for watching like share subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time cheers